It's Diane back again from Tattered Edges Design. I'm going to make some Halloween cards today and I thought, well, I'll put the camera on and see what happens. And I know it's it's kind of early for Halloween stuff, but um, I just finished that Alice journal, which actually was a big project. That was exhausting. So I didn't want to dive right into another big project. So I think a lot of journal makers do that in between big projects. They do little projects. So I thought I'd make some cards, get that out of the way, because I usually make cards to give at holidays. Not all, but sometimes I do. So anyway, I just have, this is white cardstock, the 8.5 by 11 type, and I just cut it in half and then folded it in half. So you get a nice size card and go either way. So I've got that. I've got a lot of Halloween scrapbook paper. I mean, actually, probably like a lot. But I just pulled some out that I thought might make cute cards and that I haven't used to death already and that my recipients are sick of getting. So I've got that and just some other paraphernalia. So we'll just see where we go from here. And I don't know how many I'm gonna make. I need to make several, but I probably won't do them all and bore you to death. So I was gonna start with one of these cutesy ones that's more for a teenager. This is, I've had this paper for a while. It's Cartabella. I don't know if you can see that. I don't have, at this point in my filming career, I don't have a setup where you can see like on your computer. So I'm just kind of, uh, you know, going on faith here. So forgive me if I get out of frame and stuff. I don't know, that one, that one, that one. Um, well, we'll take this one just cause it's on an edge. If that needs trimming. There it does a little bit. Okay. Get these other ones out of the way until I need them. Okay. Would you <laughs> so I've got a stool behind me. I just set this stuff down on it. And one of the papers goes flying off down my stairwell towards my basement. So if I need that, I'm gonna have to pause the camera. Anyway, yeah, I've got this too. I just, um, my husband recently picked this up for me at Hobby Lobby and he did not pay that for it. But I've never used this stuff. If any of you, it, it is, it's burlap on one side and like paper on the other, which I don't think I want on this one, but I thought it might be cool, but I don't know how it glues and stuff. So I got that sitting there too. But anywho. So what do we want to put behind this, or a stamp or something? I also have some of these. They're, I picked up on Etsy years ago. It's a pad of um, old bingo papers that obviously look kind of Halloween-y because they're orange and they're very fragile. I have no idea who the seller was at this point. Let me reach around and look at my other Halloween papers here for a minute. Let's see. You can see I got a really charming storage system here. Box. Um, it's kind of too busy. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Uh, you know what? I kind of like this. And maybe I can just sew it down a little if it's too much or frame this yeah okay we'll do something like that so anyway this is just a cheapy at Hobby Lobby the lightweight open stock type paper they have and I think I'm just gonna tear it and no I don't have a fancy tear ruler I use just a the metal ruler I use for everything else uh, come in about here Look straight, straight enough. Okay. And 
this way, yeah. She hung the ruler back up on the wall and she needs it again, right? I'll do this side. Yeah, I had my ruler in a drawer and I always got, you know, other junk put on top of it. So since it has a hole on it, I nailed it to the wall next to me. Which actually was a very good decision. Okay. So if that's glued down and we need, that's lost on there. So if you just frame it, would that do something? Or do we need to tone down the background paper? Let me try framing it. Oh, let me step aside and look for some colored cardstock here. There's a pack of it. So I don't know if there's any black in here. Brown. Mm, eh, it's okay, but I don't love it. Um, that light brightens it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, there is black in here. Okay, let's try that. Well, that looks more Halloween-y, doesn't it? Okay, black. All right. Now, do I want to cut it perfect or make it raggedy? Make it raggedy. see how <clears throat> precisely I work here. Okay, I kind of like that. All right, I am going to glue this much of it down and then come back. You don't have to watch me glue. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, I took a little liberty here and stitched around. I thought that was kind of cute. And I don't think you want to listen to my 1980s sewing machine. So I did that off camera. And I also fussy cut a few things out. I can try. And I thought the border definitely needed something. And if it was just like for me, I'd probably ink it, maybe stamp a little text or something like that. But since I mentioned this is for a teen, I don't think, I don't know, teens into old vintage stuff. I don't think so. So I thought I'd paint it. Um, but I don't really have this gold color, so I have to mix it. These are just cheapy craft paints that are not even so hot. They're kind of old. And I've got a high-end palette here. Mixing palette is a top of a Pringles container. Let's see. Oh, this is just a watercolor brush brown watercolor brush that I've had for a long time. Not too yellow. It's not bad. All right, let's see. And I'm not sure if I want to go totally, you know, do the whole thing or just edge it. Is that too orange? I don't know, because the, the paper is sort of distressed looking. So do we want it like that, or do we want to do the whole thing more? A little more? Mm, yeah, it's okay. Is it too orange? Come in with just a tad here. Not too yellow. 
And you know what? It's a card for a teenager. I'm thinking too much. Okay, that's fine. And I'm not going to close it on itself in case there's paint there on the edge. Okay, let me set this stuff aside. These uh, pumpkins were cut just out of um, the same type of cheapy Hobby Lobby paper. And this was the edge of the paper. That's why it's like that. And this was what? A well-used scrapbook paper that you probably can't even buy anymore. Oh, we are memories keeper. Yeah, they don't even make paper anymore, do they? 2010. Okay, and I did edge it with a little bit of ink, black ink. So, yeah. Hope my hair isn't getting in the picture here. Not too obvious. That's not bad. Don't they pop enough for me? Well, we obviously have to camouflage that corner, so that's that's okay. That's doable. Uh, she's reaching for the paintbrush when she needs the glue. Uh, come on, glue. I'm going to have to open a new bottle pretty soon. I don't know, does the pumpkin need a little white on it? Maybe? A little white gel pen? I don't know, are we thinking too much again for a teen? So, I think the problem is these are like exactly the same size. That's kind of bugging me. No, that's better. That's. Huh. I like that. spending too much time on one greeting card. Yeah, you know, for people that don't do this stuff, I don't understand the price of things when they go into an Etsy shop. This is why. Maybe up in the picture more. Oh, that's better. That's better. Okay. Yeah, so see, this has white on it. Oh, let's see, I got a white gel pen. I don't know what it is. This is a jelly roll. Oh, wait. Don't ask me where I got it, I don't know. Yeah, it starts small, and then if you hate it, it doesn't matter so much. Well, that doesn't really stand out that much. It's just didn't. Sometimes it um, pops more when it dries. I think the ink just wasn't coming out so great. Or whatever it is. It's jelly. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. Um. I think I'm going to ink the edge. Is it dry? Yeah, dry enough for me anyway. Grab my ink. Just black. Yeah, I know how many people do it this way too. I don't have a, I have one dauber in my house and that's brown. Okay. 
Okay. Oops. Sorry, rattling my cap there. Lid. Something. Ribbon. Okay, hang on. I gotta go get my ribbon box. Okay, I am back from the depths of my ribbon box. I picked out a couple here. This, yeah. Isn't this charming? I got this at a thrift store several years ago and it was pretty full, <laughs> but it's, it's nice trim. I've been using it quite a bit. I kind of like that. And then I just have orange, you know, Joanne Hobby Lobby type ribbon. That's not bad either, but I kind of, it's like I could do one on top and one on the bottom or just do them both. I kind of like the brown. I think I'm going to do the brown and then do a, um, maybe a bow in the orange. So two of these. glue. Yeah, I wonder what this trim was intentionally, initially intended for. Say that ten times fast. Because it's awfully narrow, as you can see. But there was a lot of it, like it's more for upholstery or something. I don't know. Whatever, I'm glad somebody gave it to the thrift store because I like it. Okay. Bottom one. Yeah, I know, and all you people with your Fabri-Tac and stuff are going, why are you goofing around with a glue and toothpick? What is your problem? Well, I don't know. It's just the uh, way I started doing it and it stuck. straighter. Okay. Now what about a bow? Sometimes I don't always get these on the first go. Let's see. No, that's not bad. That's cute. Okay. Sold. So, has anyone else started Halloween crafts yet? No, Diane, it's just you. Okay, are we done? Do we want sequins, something? I'm not a fan of glitter. You want faux stitching? Let me, let's see. Uh, this is just actually a pen, not a marker but it works pretty well. And I'm not gonna use a ruler, let's see. Well, I hope it looks good because I'm kind of committed now, unless I paint over it or glue something over it. Okay. To the side quick, and I think this one is good to go. Diane, you're boring us. Hurry up. Okay. 
Okay, obviously you have to trim these ends. I'll do that when it's dry, though. Okay, that's fine. Let's we'll set that aside and see about that. Um, this paper I picked up last year, full well knowing I wasn't going to use it last year, but it was too cute to pass up. It's authentique. I don't know if you could still get it this year. Uh -huh -huh. I do have a friend that likes vintage stuff, so any of these would be good for her. I'll take that. Just It's a little different. That looks like, um, can you see? Am I in frame? I don't know. Uh, Edith Holden, but I don't know for sure. I don't, I don't have her book, so I don't know if that's exactly one of hers, but looks like hers. I'm sure so many people out there know. such a hot job on this. Okay. Let me grab a blank card. We went this way on this one. All right. All you clever people. What should I do with the background on this? What about, well, no, that's too compety. What about that's not bad. All right, Let's start there. All right, what about the other side? You want just like vintage text? Would that be too boring? All right, I'm going to look for vintage text so I don't bore everybody to tears and come back and continue in a minute. Okay, I have returned. I found ta old text that's nicely yellowed out of an old work basket magazine, and I went ahead and glued it down with the bingo border there. And I had to show you, it, you know, life can be strange. So I just, I have a stack of old magazines next to me. So I just grabbed this one because I wanted the yellowing. I saw that, yeah, the cover isn't even on it anymore. But anyway, I opened it up to, ooh, a pumpkin. And I'm looking, oh, Halloween stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's October, 1971. Isn't that weird? Anyway, that's that. So I didn't, I thought text all, you know, in this area too was gonna be too much. So I think I am just gonna ink that part with good old walnut stain and the good old chewed up dauber. But I don't know, it still works, so the only thing is it gets little thingies come off it, and if you're not paying attention, then the little thingies leave little brown marks where you don't want them. So that's why I'm putting my little garbage can here to kind of catch little thingies that come off the dauber. And if I want, I could actually add a little paint to this. I still have the paint out, so we'll see. I'm gonna go pretty heavy here. And once this is dry, I'll trim that and go around the, all the edges too. All right. I don't see any little thingies, do you guys? All right, what does that look like? Oh yeah, okay, that's fine. Now, since this just says October, and it really isn't referencing Halloween, I thought we, I could get a 31 there or something. So I don't know if I want to just stamp it, or I have, hang on a minute, in my box here. Uh, it's, a, it's a paper that has a bunch of 31s on it and stuff. Well, here's one. Let's see, this isn't what I was looking for, but actually that matches pretty well. This is an old Pebbles paper. You probably can't buy this anymore either. Actually, this one, this is, I do have two of these sheets, but I was using the other one so often I grabbed another one. I think I do want to be a pain in the neck and fussy this instead of cutting a circle. So, 
what can we talk about? How are the kids? And one of my dogs is behind me whining. How's the weather wherever you are? It is H-O-T by me. We also have to find something else to put on this too, don't we? We can't get away with just one little embellishment. Heavens to Betsy. Okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. Eh. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Just some ribbons and stuff. Pumpkin. Needs pumpkins. Let's see. Let's look at our pumpkin papers. Uh, well, here's the one I just used before. Uh, this one too, but it might be. Well, I don't know. I like that one. I thought it might be too kitschy or something to go with this, but I, I kind of like that. Okay. Let's see. Which one, though? Maybe this one? My scrapbook paper companies realize how hard it is to cut out some of their designs. They make them so close together. Maybe they should watch some of our craft videos, huh? She's fussy cutting again. I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. Okay, hurry up because I'm almost done. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of fun. All right. I'll cool this stuff down off camera and spare you people more boredom. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, back once again. So I glued down the little fussies there and I decided I want something up the edge. And so this is a strip of that burlap paper pad I showed at the beginning. So I don't, the, the colors match, but it's kind of boring. And I've got this Halloween type washi. It's kind of fun, but it's a little too much. So I don't know. And I thought, um, back to this trim that. Do we like that? I kind of like that. And when we try this stuff. So do tell. Have you used this burlap paper? What do you do with it? I don't know. I've, I've seen very little of that online. And how well will it glue? It's sticking. Okay, let me get rid of this. And this. And let's see if I can make a cut here so it looks like it's behind the pumpkin. That's nice. Let's glue that down. And I also think this is turning into a long video, so I am going to, when we're done here, just let this stand and be its own video, and then we'll do another card or two tomorrow, and then I'll show them all at the end when all is said and done. Come on, get on there, glue. All right, now which end did I make the, uh, there, <laughs> the cut? That would be cute, put the wrong end down, right? All right, before we leave though, do we want a bow or something on this? That could be nice. Yeah, I don't know about you, but it kind of bugs me when ribbons and that are not real straight. 
All right, well, I still have the orange ribbon here. Let's try a bow. Corner. No. Then we've got dun dun dun. That looks dumb. Middle. No. no. Forget the bow. <laughs> Here, the bird is wearing a bow. Um, that's not bad. Make it a little smaller. All right, let me try that. I may not go with it. Let's see. Well, does it throw? It makes the 31 almost look like it's crooked or something. But I like the color. All right, you know what? We're going to call this a video. I'll find a place for the bow and I'll finish this up tomorrow. So thanks for sticking with me and have a nice day out there. Thank <laughs> you.